season. I'm Becca's bull is going for a straight Robin Hood, not just through my fledging. I'm your cameraman. Oh. Hey guys, it's Becca again. Um, so today we finally had a little bit of nice weather. The rain stopped. Um, so we get a chance. It is still pretty cold out, unfortunately, but that's Wisconsin. Um, so today, for this Wednesday segment, I'm just going to talk a little bit about my bow. Um, I don't have anything super fancy. Um, I just have a Craze 2 by Mission, which is made by Matthews. Um, it's got a 28-inch axle. This bow ranges. It's great for beginner. It's great if you, for girls, guys, kids. Um, it's pretty much an all-around bow, especially for the price range. It isn't super expensive. It, it isn't the cheapest one out there, but it does really well for for everything I need it for, especially me just beginning. Um, it's got dual cams, which makes it super smooth. It doesn't have the big gully it falls into when you pull back. It's a very smooth pullback. Um, the draw drawstring it ranges anywhere from 17 inches to 30 inches. And the pullback weight is anywhere from 15 pounds to 70 pounds. It's super easy, adjustable. All you have to do is be able to move a couple pins um, in a lot of a lot of spots. Um, um, my goal is to pull back 60 pounds before we go elk hunting. Um, I'm right hand dominant. Um, I pull back lefty. I'm lefty, unfortunately, um, which is not a problem, but it definitely takes a little bit more getting used to. Um, it's a lot harder for me to pull back with my left than it would be my right, obviously, but. I make it work. So right now I'm currently at 45 pounds, so I get about 15 pounds um, I want to gain in order, I just want to make sure that I really hit an elk. If I get the opportunity good, um, I'm not going out to injure the animal or not making a clean shot. Um, so 60 would be my ideal before we go to Colorado. So I just have pretty basic air, arrows uh, rolled by shields. Um, and yeah, we're just going to fling a couple sticks and see where we're at and get adjusted. I got another camera out there. I got the GoPro, so hopefully get some good shit for ya. Wasn't supposed to say shit. As you can see, it didn't really fall into a gully at all. Almost done. So right now we're at, what was it, about 15? 20. About 20 yards, so nothing too fancy. Um, what's your block at? 25. Alright, block's at 25. I'm going to bump it back to 30 and see if I can hit one. I haven't shot this boy in a while, so... Docker, not where I wanted to, but it's a start. <laughs> At least it's not in the ground, right? <laughs> That's not a horrible grouping. I would uh, definitely have killed something, so I'm happy with it. Um, but I gotta still, I gotta get longer ranges because we don't know what, where, when, why. And we're gonna keep target, target practicing more. Getting further out. Look at that beautiful sunset. Got it going on. I'm shooting them all over there. Are you sure it's not just you? Everything myself. So this, this, right? Is why you always wax no. your arrows when you're shooting into these damn blocks. He's telling me I gotta put a little effort into it. Hey baby. Hey baby. Have this spider. Hey baby. I will chase you with this spider. Put a little effort into it. Chase you with that spider. Nope. Stay in there. Heave. Ho. Heave. Ho. Quitter. Quitter. Your mama raise a quitter? Nope. <laughs>
call me Katniss. Nope. Katniss would have Robin Hooded that. Getting closer. Who says you can't scout from the house window? Huh? Hmm? Nothing. Turkeys. Nope. Uh, not happening. Give us the time here. 